all that stuff gets in the way and fiascos like this are more likely with the Pentagon as its priorities all out of whack. All right, also this from Joe Biden today. One of the lessons I hope our students can unlearn is that politics doesn't have to be this way. Politics doesn't have to be this way. They're growing up in an environment where they see it's like a, like a war, like a bitter feud. Politics doesn't have to be this way. That's what he's been doing his entire career. His entire career now at the age of, what is he, 79? Now he thinks it's time to change. Joe, who are you? you're not fooling anybody. What I'm worried about is how un-American this whole initiative is. It's sick. It's sick. The Republican voters I know find this despicable. Republican voters, the folks out in outside this White House. I'm not talking about the, le the elected officials. I'm talking about voters. It is the most pernicious thing. This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. That is a worse line, by the way. But anyway, you can see he's very, very, uh, he can be very, very mean, questioning everybody other, everybody else's motives. And don't forget his well-established record of being a chronic liar. I'm lost what to do with that. And where did you place in that class? And the other question oh, is, man. would you quickly, I, 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 I think I probably have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class that have a full academic scholarship. In the first year in law school, I decided I didn't want to be in law school and ended up in the bottom two thirds of my class and then decided I wanted to stay, went back to law school, and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I won the international moot court competition. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only need 123 credits, and I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Frank. All that stuff was not true. The media called him out on it. Joe tried to explain his way out of it, Back then, the media was a bit more aggressive. Uh, watch this. He can't talk his way out of it. He thinks he can, but he really can't. Do you feel you're able to control, to put in the vernacular, your mouth that you can think before you talk? Well, I've been in this business for 15 years. Um, and uh, I, uh, um, I let my record of 15 years versus the transgression that you're referring to uh, stand. And you, can make, you all can make that judgment. I feel very capable of uh, using my mouth in sync with my mind. Oh, 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 we knew back then he had a dropout not long after this. There's something very, very wrong with this guy. Well, I've been around for 15 years, so what if I lied all day yesterday? All right, now this. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives do matter. Black lives matter, of course they do. Not the way the Black Lives Matter organization says or white liberals say. They only care when a black life is taken by a white cop. That's the only time it counts. That's the only time it's worthy of their attention. Well, that is wrong. And what's happening right now is a total and complete crisis. And we are highlighting it. The life of 12-year-old London Michael Bean mattered. He was shot and killed Wednesday afternoon in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There was some sort of argument between local neighborhood rivals. It's not clear whether Bean was involved in this fight, but someone in the crowd pulled a gun and shot him. Now, family and friends say that he was an energetic kid who tried to turn every negative situation into something positive. People in the area say the problems are within the community, not with the police.